We have now completed our pre-trip. We will begin our air brake. Make sure the truck is on accessory. Shut off. Push in both red buttons. We will fan the brakes down to 30 PSI and then we will do our build rate from 50 to 90 PSI. Take your timer. Fan down the brakes. Now 30 PSI, start the truck. At 50 PSI, we will start our timer. 50 PSI, start the timer. The build rate from 50 to 90 PSI must be under three minutes. PSI. It took 41 seconds to build from 50 to 90 PSI. Must be under three minutes. Acceptable. Reset your timer. Push in both tractor and trailer protection valves. Raise the pressure to 100 PSI. But I'll be checking to ensure the glad hands are properly connected. One hundred PSI for your trailer spike down. Listen out the window. I hear no air leaks. I hear the trailer brakes release. The glad hands are not crossed. Continue on to maximum air pressure. Maximum air pressure must be between 115 and 135 PSI. The air governor will signal to the compressor when the maximum pressure is reached. You will hear the air discharge out the window, a little pssst. That will tell you that you had maximum air pressure. When that occurs, the governor will signal the compressor to go into the unloading or cooling stage. We have now reached maximum air pressure, 125 PSI, must be between 115 and 135, acceptable. The compressor is in the unloading stage. We will now fan the brakes down to 90, no less than 80, and put the compressor back in the loading stage. The air gauge is going up. That tells me the compressor is back in the loading stage. Fan the air down. Check the warning lights to come on. It must come on less than 60. Warning lights come on at 70. Tractor and trailer protection valve close at 50. Must close no less than 20. Acceptable. Advise the examiner that the lower air pressure indicator lights and the park lights for all operation operating correctly. That completes part one. We will now continue on to part two, operation of the emergency protection valves on the unit. Raise the air pressure to 100 psi. Check your trailer brake, tractor brakes. Make sure they're applied. I will now go outside and disconnect my red emergency line. Disconnecting the red emergency line. Check both glad hands, make sure there's no air leaking. Return to the cab. The red emergency line is now disconnected. There is no air leaking from either glad hand. Make sure the air pressure is at maximum.
Shut off the tractor. Push in the red trailer valve. The air will leak out of the emergency line until the protection valve closes. Protection valve must close no less than 20 psi. Protection valve closes at 95 psi. Acceptable. Start the truck. Air pressure back to 100 psi. I will now go outside and connect my emergency line. Check your parking brakes. Emergency line is now connected. Return to the cab. The red emergency line is now connected. Push in the red button. I will now go outside and disconnect my service line, the blue line. Double check and make sure there's no air leaking from the red line when you're outside. Check your brakes. Service line is disconnected. There's no air leaking from either glad hand. Push in both tractor valves. Maximum air pressure. Shut the truck off. Make a firm hard brake application holding it to the floor until the protection valve closes. The air is now leaking from the service line. It will leak until the protection valve closes. Must close no less than 20 psi. Protection valve closed at 50 psi. Must close no less than 20. Acceptable. Start the truck. 100 psi. At 100 PSI, pull down your trailer spike, listen out the window, if there is no air leaking from the service line, that means the tractor protection valve is working properly. Go outside, connect your blue line, check your brakes, make sure they're applied. Blue line is connected. Push in both the tractor and trailer protection belts. Raise your air pressure to maximum. The compressor is not pumping. Fan the brakes down to 90.
now completes part two. Maximum air pressure. The tractor air pressure is at maximum. Both valves are in. We will now do a system air leak test. Take your timer, step on the brake, start the timer all at the same time. The unit must not leak more than 4 psi in one minute. At 30 seconds, tap on the glass. Make sure the gauges aren't stuck. At one minute, stop the timer. Advise the examiner that at one minute, there is no more than four PSI air loss in the system. Acceptable, release the brakes. Reset your timer. Start your truck. Maximum air pressure. We will now do our six pack. The air compressor is not pumping, fan down to 90. This truck and trailer has auto slack adjustment. We will make six full brake applications, no less than 90 psi, and that will adjust the brakes on the truck and trailer. That is what we call our six pack. Maximum air pressure, one, two, three. No less than 90 PSI. Maximum air pressure. completes our six pack. We will now do a push rod travel verification. Turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. Release the steering wheel. Must be over 100 psi. Put the transmission in any forward gear. Shut the truck off. Take out chalk. We will now go outside and mark the push rod where it comes out of the number 20 pot. Mark the push rod where it comes out of the 20 pot. Return to the cab. We will now install our brake buddy. Put the top in first, under the steering wheel. Press the brake pedal down. Install the bottom. Take our ruler and we'll go outside and measure the travel. Measure the push rod travel. Push rod travel is one and one quarter inches. Number 20 pot. Maximum travel is one and three quarter inches. 30 30 pot. Maximum travel is two inches. There must be no more than one quarter inch difference on any axle. And I'd measure all the brakes the same way. Return to the cab. Remove your brake, buddy. Release your brakes. Apply your parking brakes. Truck in neutral. Start the truck. That now completes our push rod travel verification. I will exit the vehicle 
and prepare it for the tuck test. Make sure the brakes are applied. We will remove our wheel jacks. Put them away in the cubby hole. Close the cubby hole. Battery cover, fuel tank cover. Close the hood and raise the bumper. Truck is now prepared for the tug test. Any forward gear, push in the yellow button. Slowly release the clutch and give a slight tug on the on the unit. Yellow button out. Trailer protection valve in. Slowly release the clutch, give it another little tug. Both valves in. Pull down the trailer spike. Another little tug. Release the spike. Drive ahead 10 feet, step on the foot brake. Back up 10 feet. Apply the foot brake again. Neutral. Parking brake. Shut the truck off. And now completes our air brake.